Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am called Azure Graphic. So in this video, we are going to be creating some awesome manipulation videos using our Pixel Lab. But if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and don't forget to drop a comment. Support this channel by subscribing. So without wasting more time, let's get started. So if you are this is my image size over here. Can you see confused of how my image size? You can see it's just a normal square image size. My width and my height is the same 1280. So you can see this over here. These are the elements I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be hiding this for now. I'm working on the man. Normally, the man is a is on the white background. So I'm going to change this background to black so you can see this background. So let's go back to our erase color. Make sure you see the end of this video. You can see once we go to our erase color. Okay, I guess the background is color pixel. So I'll just have to go back, enable erase color, increase the tolerance, increase the tolerance a bit. Something okay, just reduce this. I reduce this a bit. So to give us something like this, once we're done doing this, we're just going to head over to our text color, enable our text solo, text color. If I enable my text color, I'm going to go back to that erase color, reduce the tolerance a little. Then go back to my erase color. Enable it to any color, any color at all. So I'm just going to be using. Okay, so just I'm going to be using red for now. So once I'm done doing this, you can see that it's done. I'm going to crop out, crop it a bit. So something like this. So I'm going to go back to my shape. This is the shape. Increase it. Once I'm done increasing it, centralize the shape. So you centralize. So I'm going to be taking it back of this man. So something like this, and I'm going to click on this man and increase it to the size I want to increase it. You can choose to reduce it, use your relative position to centralize it. So something like this. So like this. In the background, there is something like okay. okay so the background color will be raised out. So something like this. We're done working on this part. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to be merging it together. So we're going to be merging the shape and the man together no matter i got this idea from one guy in youtube professional something if i remember the name i'll say to you guys so this uh you can see i'm done with this so i'm going to be doing some double exposure here so you can choose to use any background such as this so i'm going to be using this background so you can see this is my background for i'm going to be hiding it and for this guy i just merged so just click on it once you click on this, go back to your erase color, enable erase color. We're going to be clicking on the red. We're going to color pick the red. So just color pick the red. So to give us something like this. This is very cool. You can choose to increase it to any size you want it to be. So once I done, this is the image. So I'm going to be taking this image at the back of this guy. So to give us something like this, you can use the relative position to adjust it and hide other elements you get okay so something like this this is very cool you can choose to use your position to smooth it any color you like if you don't love this background you can also use this background also take it to this part use the background click on the background but we're going to lock this layer and increase it you get so something like this you can choose to use this background also Take it over here, click on it, enlarge it. So something that you can use any background of your choice. So this is all for today. If you love this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.